Rowan, just tell us first of all how have you how have you used the time? Yeah, the lads had uh, some time off after the Warrington game over the weekend, and then we were back in on the the Monday to get the the week rolling. Uh, we got some hard work done on Wednesday and Friday, and, and then we've had uh, the weekend again off, and then back into it yesterday. Uh, build up to a you know a heavy session today, and and uh, yeah, looking looking ahead now. And that time obviously can allow injuries to clear up. What's the situation with some of those, especially Ash Handley? Oh, he's he was cleared of a fractured rib, uh, but he's he's got a, a rib cartilage issue there, which can be pretty painful, particularly in those opening uh, week or two. So he he won't be available this week. Um, you know, we'll it'll be a case by you know sort of week to week proposition from that point. Um, Tom Holroyd uh, hasn't progressed quickly enough through the HIA protocol. Um, so he he won't be available this weekend either. Uh, aside from that, we've come through uh, pretty well. Is James Bentley back in uh, contention now after his head knock? No, James. Um, James is is uh, still working through the HIA protocol, and he's, he's had some symptoms, so he's been set back a little bit further. Um, there's no exact date on that return, um, but he won't be back in the next couple of weeks. What about potential returnees? David Fusatua, is this the, the week for him? Yeah, Fuss has trained uh, fully this week in, in preparation to play Friday. So, you know, it's it's a shame to be missing Ash, but, you know, a timely return for, for Fuss. What do you think you'll get from David Fusatua? Is he hoping to make up for a bit of lost time? Yeah, we, we just want Fuss to, to play his game. He, obviously, he's a strong, strong ball carrier and a threat in the air. Um, him and Harry have a, a good partnership on and off the field, so we're looking to um, sort of further bolster the the threat on that that right edge with um, with those two together, yardage carries, and and uh, hopefully we can get some kicks over to him as well. Given the disappointment of the Warrington result here, do you, do you feel like it's a significant fixture for Leeds this Friday? Yeah, I, th- I think every every home game is, but certainly on the back of um, some disappointing. Results. Uh, I think uh, the last game we was it wasn't um, wasn't our strongest performance of the year clearly, um, but we were in the battle for a good period there at sixteen eight. We have a try disallowed, and you know it's a decent arm wrestle that second half that could have gone either way. And you know as we've seen in some other fixtures as well, they can get away from you a bit when you're chasing points. Uh, but we certainly do want to play better for longer, um, and we want, we need to sort of show that from the start, get going well, and and. You know, we're playing against an opposition that are in, you know, really, really good form. Um, so it's going to be a, a great battle, a great contest and something that we, you know, we feel like we it's it's good timing for us to be playing a, a team that's in form. How impressed were you with their Challenge Cup victory at the weekend? Yeah, very impressed. It's a tough place to go. Um, obviously, the conditions there, it's much warmer than than here as well. So adapting to that. Um and they they're they're a good team and they're always very hard to beat. Um, they had they had a few sort of kick tries and stuff go their way, but they were you know they outplay Catalans who have been the sort of the dominant force of the Super League so far. So um, we we know what we're coming up against and they're a very consistent team um, and they they know what they're about. So we you know we've got to shut them down, but also we've got to throw some throw some stuff at them to to um, try and get some fatigue into them. Where does their main threat come from? As from what you've seen. Oh, they're they're a good team across the board. Um, they they play them well together. I think is their, their biggest sort of threat. Uh, but obviously, Jake Connor at the back is is a try assist machine um, when he's when he's got his opportunities and space to play. And you know he's kicking from yardage as well. Can you know helps him a lot with field position and and trying to you know forty twenty threat and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but they've got a strong forward pack. They work hard. They they got dangerous outside backs and. You know, Clune and Lola here have got a, a growing combination there. So, um, you know, we've got to be good across the across the park, but we've got to, you know, throw some stuff at them as well to to put them under some pressure. You know, I think that's a really key thing. Just lastly for me, Rowan, it'll be the two year anniversary of your appointment later this week. So, congratulations for that. I know it's a, a broad question, but can you give us an evaluation of how far things have come since then and and what what's still to do? Yeah, well, there's a lot still to do, but I think um, there's a lot of a lot of gains that have been made. Um, we've 
we've accomplished uh, quite a bit in in some respect. The the 2022 uh, run that we went on was you know something that everyone will probably I haven't sort of reflected on a lot, but but I probably will at some stage about how special that was. Um, and in you know in the meantime we've yeah, last year, you know, we had a lot of stuff to deal with um, off the field and behind the scenes, particularly that um, we we actually did a pretty good job to be in the picture, um, given the amount of stuff that was was going on. We did a did a reasonable job to be in contention all the way up till you know a few weeks to go in the season. Um, whilst the bar was aiming much higher, um, we actually accomplished quite a bit uh, among the younger players in and the emerging players in our group. Uh, and certainly from a staffing and a sort of process point of view in in behind the scenes at, at Kirkstall, that we accomplished a lot there last year. Uh, and the development of our sort of academy and our players coming through the system, we've accomplished um, a bunch with with that, um, with a view to the future. Now it's a, a matter of getting our season just turning the right the right way this year. We've, we've played some really good stuff this year, um, not quite enough of it. But we're probably, you know, one win away where I'd hope to be um, in the league at this point. So we're not too far away. And we've challenged, you know, some really good opposition in St. Helens a couple of times and Warrington and Catalans and Salford. And, you know, we've been right in there, you know, last year's Challenge Cup winners, Lee. We've had a we've had a lot of tough games and we're we feel like we're hardened to um use this break to to come in fresh and and with some um some good work under our belt though, ready to, ready to get this next little block of uh, games, um, you know, started.